Hi, my name is Mick and I'm a biochemist. Captain America's super soldier serum has been stated to be a self-replicating virus. And this is entirely plausible because it's known that viruses are capable of introducing new DNA into the human body or moving genes that are already in the body around. So here are a few of the things that that virus might be doing to Steve Rogers. It might be introducing new genes for speed or strength into his body so that he has more of them. It might be moving around the genes that he already has for speed or strength into a place where they can be read more efficiently or more often. So whereas your body might be sending a muscle growth signal every so often, Steve Rogers' body might be sending it all the time. Or your body might be saying, it's time to stop using fast twitch muscle, and Steve Rogers' body might be saying, use it all the time. It's also possible that the virus might introduce DNA that damages stop signals in Steve Rogers' DNA. So where your body might say, stop growing muscle now, his body might never say that. All of those are plausible. It's also known that Steve Rogers, as well as the super soldier serum, gets Vita rays to enhance its effect. And this is plausible too, because Vita rays could just be a source of cellular stress, like most types of radiation. And it's known that when viruses introduce new DNA into the body, the more stress the cell is under, the more that DNA will be copied and read. So by stressing the cells with Vita rays, you could just be enhancing the amount of muscle growth, speed, strength that Steve Rogers is getting. 